A look at Big Time Rush's reunion tour. TikTok sensation Dixie D'Amelio started the show. Despite this, she performed well, much to the audience's delight. In addition to her original songs, she sang a cover of Carrie Underwood's Before He Cheats, which had the crowd rocking. Big Time Rush's Wind Goes Down and Music Sounds Better With You elicited applause from the crowd. Lively performance and some audience engagement precede the group's transition into a series of high-energy songs comprised of new and old fan favorites or a mix of both. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss a look at Big Time Rush's reunion tour, so stay tuned to find out more. Let's start our video. The show resumed its normal speed with each band member running through the crowd. Logan Henderson rushed into the pavilion seating at Blossom Music Center, where I happened to be. Kendall Schmidt, James Maslow, and Carlos Penavega all materialized out of nowhere among the crowd members. And then one over that shoulder for us. Dixie, right here. Thank you, Dixie. One second. After a few more songs, they took out a boombox and played several well-known tunes, including Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. Following that, they performed a slew of songs from their first album, including City Is Ours and If I Ruled the World, as well as tracks from a cassette tape titled Big Time Rush Classics. They just waited a few minutes after leaving the stage to begin their encore performance, which concluded with Boyfriend, the title song of their comedy. Even though they had been away for nine years, the reunion celebration was a success. Despite this, they could wow the audience with their ability to interact with them via song and dance. Even though they hadn't performed in almost a decade, they maintained a strong connection with the audience by cracking jokes, asking questions, and encouraging people to hold up their signs throughout the performance. Now that COVID-19 has halted live performances, your favorite artists are planning new tours and experiences. No matter where you reside, all access tickets to the year's most anticipated shows are now available. The behind-the-scenes pass for E Behind is now available. Carlos Penavega, James Maslow, Logan Henderson, and Kendall Schmidt rose to prominence after appearing on Nickelodeon's Big Time Rush in 2009. Two of the group's most popular songs were Boyfriend and Worldwide. They went on to have sold-out tours, good albums, and multiple number one hits. In 2013, each band member decided to go their way. They've been gone for nearly a decade, but they've returned and are ready to rock their way. Kendall and I had a big-time whirlwind experience on Big Time Rush, as E! News exclusively revealed. We were a group of 20-something geeks. The friendship grew soon. We're best buddies now. So I'm like, you know what? I think this is a wonderful idea. Then Carlos spoke up. In my opinion, it's now our moment to shine. We'd want to express our gratitude to Nickelodeon and Sony for their assistance. This time, instead of two, we performed as a group of four. All of those options are available to us. We have complete control over which songs are played. What color will the lights be on tour? Because this is our child, the creative process is much more satisfying. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. The previous week, Big Time Rush released a song called Call It Like I See It. They played at iHeartRadio's Jingle Ball in Philadelphia and the Chicago Theater in Illinois. To round up the week, the band will perform a sold-out gig in New York City's Hammerstein Ballroom on December 18th. Carlos told E! News that people are going to be tremendously happy with their next album. I'm at a loss as to how to phrase it. Back then, I was a great fan of what we were doing. We didn't want it to stop since everyone appeared to have so much fun, and I feel our new content has the same enthusiasm, but it's much more current. I feel we did an excellent job of keeping the Big Time Rush DNA while modernizing it. While the reunion announcement may have surprised some, the band members acknowledged that it had been discussed often over the years. The coronavirus epidemic inspired their decision to unite and make new memories. There had been countless conversations between the three over the years, but one of the primary reasons they hadn't met was just scheduling. Everyone is working on their film, television, and music projects, Kendall said. I think we were all aware that we would reunite at some point in the future. It's only a matter of time. When the outbreak hit, everyone was affected, so we decided to take our time figuring it out. There's still time for fans to have fun. Below is complete information about the group's forthcoming reunion. Logan Henderson is speaking to E! News for the first time about their long-standing connection. Since we reunited, we've all been able to pick up exactly where we left off, which has been a big blessing for all of us. We've been through a lot together during our relationship. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this video was. I hope that you found this one interesting. You can subscribe and watch more videos on our channel to keep up with more content. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.